stunning twist in the case of Olympic hero Oscar Pistorius. The bail hearing continues today. ABC's Bazi Kanani has seen it all from inside the courtroom in Pretoria, South Africa. She joins us now. Good morning, Bazi. George, a bombshell development in the courtroom today when prosecutors announced first thing that their key witness, the chief investigator in the case, is currently accused of murder charges. Oscar Pistorius and his family were looking much more relieved in court today now that the prosecution has been dealt this new blow. The detective faces seven charges of attempted murder stemming from a 2011 incident where he and two other police officers were accused of opening fire on a minivan carrying several people. The Directorate for Public Prosecution had made a decision to charge the investigating officers as well as two other officers for the charge of attempted murder. Prosecutors say they will investigate whether the detective should remain on the Pistorius case. The bizarre twist unraveling just hours after Boat has muddled and confused testimony on Wednesday. In court, Pistorius has argued he was closing his balcony doors when he heard a noise from the bathroom. Fearing an intruder and without his prosthetic legs, he told the court he grabbed a gun from under his bed and fired through the closed bathroom door. But prosecutors say that's implausible, that the gun's holster was found under the side of the bed where Stinkomp slept and that Pistorius would have seen she wasn't there. This morning, the New York Daily News has this exclusive photo of what they say Pistorius kept on the nightstand in his bedroom. Keys, a TV remote, a watch, and a handgun. The photo taken during a photo shoot for Paris Match magazine. The Associated Press also reported that Pistorius applied for six gun permits just three weeks before the shooting. Despite those reports, Reba Steenkamp's cousin told Pierce Morgan she wants to believe Pistorius's story. That is what in my heart I hope and wish is the truth because I would not like to think that my cousin suffered. The defense has given its closing arguments today, saying that based on the known evidence at this point, there is no proof that Pistorius intentionally killed his girlfriend. The prosecution is expected to give its closing arguments later, and they are expected to reiterate that Pistorius has a history of violent threats and that they believe he is a flight risk because he has the means to live abroad. Robin? Ozzie, thank you so much.